comes the axe. Prove yourself. It's coming mid with it. And Alchemist is playing up right now. In fact, we already have Winter Wyvern roaching against Supreme. He's dead. He just got caught with his hand in the cookie jar right there. That's first blood going the way of King R. It's coming mid with it. And Alchemist is playing up right now. In fact, we already have Winter Wyvern roaching against Supreme. He's dead. He just got caught with his hand in the cookie jar right there. That's first blood going the way of King R. This Alchemist, and eventually he's going to be like level 4, level 5, while Invoker's like a level above him. And like, you want to force this Alchemist to hit the jungle. And that's when uh, Gambit coming out. Very important rune here. Oh, oh nice block. great block by Muff Doto. Yeah, did a good job right there. And he's going to secure his own on yes. top of that. Now, the top lane, I believe it was picked up by the Radiant Squad. Here, the sun strike. Oh, my. Shouldn't lane mid anymore. He has no lane in mid because you can see Invokers, he's already level six and a half with 25 denies on this Alk. It's just, you're better off just over here. Double slow, another stomp into Hoof Stomp. Yeah, that should be an easy kill. Edge. Into a Sun Strike, which doesn't even hit because he's dead anyways. Exhort. You know, you can see Necro is doing the walk of shame back top. Alchemist is dead. Oh, that's a solo kill. Uh, Sun Strike. To deny every creep here. Sleep taken off immediately by Earthshaker, saving Curry, but <laughs> Invoker's like, all right, fine, we'll just take Earthshaker. And there's that one. Is there another one? It's not a kill, though, because Necrophos, he barely stays alive, pops a ghost shroud. Now he's looking to turn. With the assistance of Crystal Maiden and Earthshaker, and Chain Totem Stun doesn't connect. There's a Reaper Scythe, though, it doesn't kill him, however, it is a hood. but it will set it up. Yeah, hood of Defiance already on. Dropped on top of uh, the creep instead of uh, for some, some. So more of a miscue on Tiny's part. Up here, Necrophos, they catch him. Again, he has a ghost right up, saving him for the time being. Reaper's side turn. Not nearly no. enough damage, though, and Necrophos will fall. Now, as I say that, oh. that's changing quickly. However, Crystal Minutes here. There's a Sun Strike. Whoa. It is going to connect. He has a couple of range, though. The Witch's Crystal Necrophos is only nearby. They do eventually shred up Alchemist, though. Ursa doing plenty. Vansker probably going to fall in response, but definitely worth it. Clutch, well, Vansker just sacrificing his life here to knew he's dead. Clutch, such a good play by King R, good positioning, perfect place, perfect time. No one putting the ice wall down, cutting off his path. Some Muff goes the other direction, but he has Necrophos coming over. Now no one, no maybe overstepped. Deafening Blast will snipe out for the Necrophos doesn't have a way around that. They go too deep this time, though. Okay, see this a couple of times. He's gone out. Not this time, however. The, the toss secures the kill. The Winter's Curse just a little bit too late. Might kill Tiny for the blue blast. He does. But now the Reaper Scythe sets up the Crystal Nova. Should be having his relic up in. Let's see, after this camp, then he'll probably get the Ancients. Be close, close to it, if anything. Yeah, Radiance in the next three minutes or so. Well, he's dead. Sleep set up into a Centaur. Being a run around. Oh, they're going to jump on to Earthshaker instead as Centaur. However, the back line is going for Alchemist. DMP's put down. Those cold snap procs coming out. He gets the chemical rage. No, he doesn't even have it. Never mind. He was just locked up with Feeder the whole time. You can and they see the, job. the way that they're playing um, with this team. Doc's not going for Curry. The perfect timing. Can he snatch it? Yes. Oh, Doc's not takes the Aegis. So he snatched the Roshan kill, but the Aegis is picked up by Doc's not. So he's still like that. Muff goes down to no one, meanwhile. And now Trini will throw it in. That freezing kill from Senny. Keeping uh, Gambit out of the Roshan pit. As soon as it works off, the Toxic runs back in. He's going to pop the Aegis right away as a result of that. Not sure about that decision. But he comes back up. And now the Reaper Scythe finishes off Bane. However, that puts with Saberlight getting out at the end. In fact, they might find a kill on no one now. Yeah, he's dead. Which is cursed. Did, did I speak too soon? Definitely not. Senny finishes off. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that's not gonna Spot up, guys on top, be ready with your TPs to react to it because he's constantly pressuring the top lane, but they are ready to TP. You can see Bane's already setting up bottom. Yeah, they got King R there. And there's Vansker going down too. So they, they have that idea in mind. Away now, top lane. Necrophos, that's where it connects, but he's gonna heal it up in time. Puts on the Reaper side just simply to stun Doxak, keep him off. I was wondering how he didn't take any damage, he magic wanded. And now Ursa, he's turned. Sets us up. Freezing field. Yes, he goes down. Saber like gets the kill. He's starting to get into that regen. And bottom lane. They go Earthshaker. No, no one does that. It's Winter's Curse on Tiny as he jumped in, though. That burn's still doing a work. It will eventually chase down no one for the kill. 
getting a tip by Saberlight saying, all chat, that was costly. Just showing like, hey man, you committed all these heroes on me and you still couldn't kill me? And I get a return kill on you? Illusion. That's what it feels like. It feels good. The life of Necrophos. I like this build from Necrophos as well. Wow. Realizes like any other item but a Lotus or a Lincoln's is going to be able to save him and save his teammates. And it enables this alchemist too, because eventually, if you help this alchemist enough, he's able to get six slots. He'll be able to buy you and donate you a free agony. <laughs> it just doesn't stop. They go back in again. Or for these free kills once again. The maniac, seven thousand ever. Look at the net worth spread too. It's all alchemist. I'm well, no, it's not. Necrophos is still working and trying to finish the BKB. So the, these next tier items for Gambit now Radiance are trying to be finished before they can truly engage. They're yeah. going to lose Manscrew. The big issue, it's like. Every single one of those heroes have some sort of disable or slow to control this invoker in team fights. Saber light. That's what you think. He might have something going. He pops a ghost round, heals it up. Fiend's grip. He does have a Yules. Big guy coming to play, and he can now. Avalanche to stop that Fiend's grip. He's still dying, though. Got locked up with Center Stomp, and it will fall. They pick up Crystal Maiden. Alchemist down a pretty bad spot. Somewhat by himself. There goes that Spirit Vessel. So the Chemical Rage all of a sudden not really working. A double kill. Good smoke here by, oh, another counter smoke. I think, do they realize uh, smoke yeah, Well, Curry does. <laughs> he goes oh. in and feeling gets the kill. The Echo Slam. However, the BKB from Toxic, and that could be a turn now for the Radiant Squad. Perhaps three for side does cut down center. However, 77 seconds, he's out for. Still a hard killer. It's tiny. Let's talk about oh, that status too, resistance, man. Nato Meatball, but he has a little bit of help coming. Tosses away the Ursa. Oh, just not enough. We're gonna find Tiny though, and not the easiest kill. Just gets out of a stun quickly, but it is enough. That double damage on the BKB used on Daxok. Now he's just gonna shred through Crystal Maiden as well. Has a faint two kills, Reaper Scythe, not gonna kill King R initially. Will eventually do him in the EMP, however, Necrophos falling after the fact. And a three for one in favor of Gambit. Very fortunate DD from uh, Ursa there. Uh, they wouldn't have been able to kill Tiny as quickly as they did. No one's still going. Sunstrike, it's gonna miss. It wants Supreme Dead, no more Chemical Rage. Spirit Vessel hoping to take him dead as well, and a couple of auto-attacks. Ursa throws him in with the Fury Swipes, and we're still going. It's now Muffet getting in trouble. It's going to be a complete wipe in favor of Gambit. Tornado will finish him. Triple kill for no one. Could just go a full pipe. Uh-oh, Vanscore? Something else, Vanscore went too deep. Worth it. Now I know where your team's at, bro. <laughs> Got you. Maybe because, uh, but I think he's just probably looking, like, even if he gets his Oh, no. Oh, he's not gonna die. Oh. Sunstrike will kill him though. Perfect timing. Uh. More people than just Arteezy can do. BKB on Supreme. Golden Braids up in the same center. No one went too deep though. Three for side that eats the cheese right after the fact. So he's back to oh, full. Perfect BKB timing, that courier delivery. Look at that. Getting it. Pops it right away. Now turning on the Alchemist. Again, the Spirit Vessel will fly. Lotus are going up, but it doesn't matter. He goes down. It's a monster kill streak for no one. And now Necrophos. No Ghost Shroud to use. Cataclysm coming out. It helps to get the kill on a Saber Light as well as Earthshaker once again. The only way to have any lockdown from him is either going to be this tiny Earthshaker to catch him off guard <laughs> and hoping they get him before his BKB. Oh, he ghost walked all the way across the map. Eventually, cut Curry? up Crystal Maiden. They want Curry. See you later, Curry. There's a slow the stampede. He tosses uh, Ursa off of him, but. Should we say goodnight to him now? Even with status resistance. Good night. <laughs> Kill streak. Alchemist. Blink. But then no one really started to kick in. He got his axe. Doc Sock, to his credit, too. The MKP pickup has proven to be pretty nice. Urshet because just open up on him. They, they tear him apart. He's staying dead. Necrophos, he's dead too. He has a buyback. Got a blink dagger this whole game. Radiant so. or scanning. I think the supporting cast continues to be the fault for sure. There's that first we're talking about now. It's on a Winter Wyvern. He just buys back immediately the uh, freezing field of Bane. And the unstable concoction to finish the job. So they get a buyback. Well, Aghanim's first should be on the Necrophos. Just want to put on Crystal Maiden and you get frostbite everyone around. That'll probably be last if that. But uh, we're. <laughs> Uh, suggested I'm waiting for us right after that. It's the way that all the stupid suggestions. Well, nice curse here to stop Curry. Canceled his TP, actually. He did. Well, that's the one time you don't mind using curse on Tiny. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Top's like, like, wait he's, a second. He's, uh, he's just delaying the game, but yeah. he doesn't have bite. Oh, he doesn't have bite. Oh! A tree toss. 
Go and double tornado into a perfect set. Now he gets tossed up with the yields himself right there with the cataclysm. It's going to take out Saberlight and Zenny will go down as well. It was, it was a little close, but down. And it's still probably going to commit it because again, Necropulse is still there for 25. And Boker went too far though. There's that overextension. So they do catch no one. A little missed up by no one there. They don't see that too often. Double concoction stun. Bansker with a cold embrace. Eventually it's going to fall though, and they're going to catch Wyvern. So, okay, they, they do get a little bit of that overplay from Gambit. 100 seconds. Okay, you know, we're, we're screaming him earlier. So. Just fissured the chest. <laughs> Effect was there. Alchemist. Chemical Rage. Not going to say too much. There's that aggressive play once again, though, of Hippomaniacs. This reminds me of, was it the Alliance game where it's just very back and forth where they always felt when two heroes are dead, they always have this one core that's just, oh, here's a grip going on the bottom. Trying to secure it. Alchemist even buys back, trying to get here in time. It's not going to be close. Necropos is already dead. Nice combo from Tiny, but the sleep. They need to get that sleep off. Finally, it is taken off. Alchemist charges stun so early from the shrine. <laughs> Stunned himself along the way. Hey, he's gonna get a stun off here on a beta. So that's Doc. Excuse me. In the midst of oh, it, but the wow. Nullifier Whoa. shreds Alchemist. Sunstrike is not gonna hit though. And down goes Ursa. So maybe this buyback is.